always I speak what I'm hearing. Because I'm just hearing that they say, a small lady that wants to marry a prophet, a small lady wearing a red skirt. A red skirt. Come here. You are like this, my size. A small lady, white in complexion. White. Red skirt. You're not wearing red skirt. Um, a red like blood. Where is she? Like this. Because I've been hearing this, ignoring it, ignoring even. Where is she? I was just hearing that many of you need advices on the side of marriage. Look at me. You want to marry a, a prophet? Huh? Yes, yes, daddy. Which prophet? I don't know. So now if somebody comes to say I want to marry you, and it's not prophesy. You say you're not a prophet. You want to marry already somebody who's prophesying. This lady like this. Let me, let me check the size. Is it the same size? Eh? Because I'm speaking what I'm hearing. That they say, a lady wants to marry a prophet. And this has confused you a lot. Is it not true? Yes, dear. Eh? Yes. Because when you see someone you just maybe it's, it's him you no know. is this is confusing you what is it that is in the prophet that other men are not heavy because now if you say i want to marry a prophet okay for example when you you are a prophet when she marry you will you know he's a prophet no daddy no now, if you say, I want to marry a you can be mistaken. You marry a criminal. Why don't you believe God that God will guide you? Because you are very much confused. Is not true, sister? Yes, it's huh? true. It's true. Please, I can't see your face. I'm just, please, you can stand on your own. You can stand on your own. You are the people that can be deceived easy. You can be deceived in the name of prophet. I'm a prophet. If I say I'm a prophet, I want to marry you, you'll agree now. So, whoever comes and says, I'm a prophet, I want to marry you, you'll agree. Why don't you believe? Are you not proposed by other people? Yes. Eh? Eh? Yes. So why don't you accept them now? You want to marry a prophet. How do you know that the one who proposed you won't be a prophet tomorrow? You must pray. I'm asking you. Prophet here and his wife here. Were well, you knowing? Huh? I didn't even know he's a pastor when he came you to me. You didn't even know he's a pastor, will be a prophet. I'm sure you're hearing me. When I'm speaking with you, I'm speaking with many people here. I'm not speaking with you alone. I'm speaking with many people here who want to marry prophet. What is it that the prophet is heavy that other people are not heavy? And why do you want to find prophet prophesying and you want to take over? Why don't you get your own who's not prophesying and you believe and say, this man is a prophet, this man is a prophet. Like Abraham was saying, I'm a father of all nations. She's a mother of all nations. She's a mother of all nations. And something happened. You can get your own ugly one. Who can, nobody can compete you. Your own ugly one, black one. As long as it's a Christian. Look here, my sister. I'm not trying to, I don't want to offend your, your faith. But you say, I'm just guiding you, but I'm guiding many. You say, this one is not working. This one is not having anything. But I believe this one is, is working. I believe this one is a prophet. I believe this one is a business person. This, this thing is confusing you now. Because you've been driving all servants of God now. So you don't know which one to follow. 
So please allow these people who are proposing you. You take their pictures, you choose one. If you don't know, please go to your pastor for guidance and stop this thing. It's, it's really confusing our young people. God bless you. You don't need prayer. You just need my counseling. Stop this thing from your mind. Don't look at the prophets. Prophets are married. All of them are married. Even themselves, they chose their own people. You, now you believe God. God, if truly I'm supposed to marry a prophet, give me one. And God will give you. Are you hearing me? Amen. Eh? Amen. God will give you. It will happen. God bless you.